Hello, everybody. Hello, Yonel. Hello, Hisela. Hello, Hisela. How are you doing? Good. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello. <laughs> wow, you're the first one? Wow. You're the first to get into the class, right? Janelle is the second one. Hello, Janelle. Hello, Janelle. Ada, good evening. Hello, Denise. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, Ada, good evening. Have four people connected. Let's wait a couple of minutes so that everybody can get into the class. Okay, Janelle. I have four people and waiting for. Okay, I will give like some minutes more. Okay, hello Moses. Hello teacher, good evening. Good evening. Okay, hello Nelson. Good evening, Nelson. Hi teacher. Hi. All right, hope that you have um that you have studied English and that you have the energy to start um a new lesson tonight. Okay. Hello, Juan. Hello, hello, Marco. I can see Marco, I can see Nelson, Ada. Okay, we're going to start in a, in, in a couple of minutes, okay? okay? All right. Okay, people, let me see, I have nine people in the group some people are chatting i says good evening uh, okay so that's ada okay ada i got your message i got it well good evening everyone we're going to start Hello, Oscar. Good evening. Okay, 10 people connecting. Hello. 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 Good evening. Gisela, uh, if you uh, could you please do me the favor? All right, that's perfect. Okay, Ada, do me the favor to activate your camera. That would be nice. Hello, Dennis. Okay. Now, yes, right, I think we can start. I have nine people and you're 20 people. So we have the half of the group over here. So, uh, well, today we're going to continue working on the topic we started yesterday, people. I hope that you are more than ready, okay, because today you are going to create something. We're going to start, um, with some activities in which you are going to be in charge of creating something in English. Uh, I told the group, um, the last group I, uh, I attend, I mean, I taught uh, before, and I, I told them that for me, it's quite important that you can like measure your 
your calls in English. Uh, over here, you're going to, as you can see, we're gonna continue talking about quantifiers. Yesterday, we started with the topic. We are going to continue today, but the purpose is to ask questions and give out answers. Okay, that's it. Ask questions and give out answers. And, well, This is a video, how much and how many. We saw the video yesterday. We're going to have some review today. Okay, and I, I don't know. Yesterday we saw like the difference between how many and how much, uh, all right? And we are going to see the video once again in order to have some review and then I will ask you, look at it, please. Hello to all of you. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give out answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Good evening, Claudia. I'm really happy to see you in the class. Okay, now listen, something that you have to keep in mind is that sooner no, or later, there isn't any. sooner or later, you're going to use this, this um, information. Well, to, tonight we're going to start working in an activity. I, I, I was just telling you that's quite important for me to notice that you are creating something in English. Okay, but uh, that's why I want you to keep um, special attention to the way to ask, uh, I mean, to use many or much. Are there many? Is there much? Remember that many is just with countable nouns and much is just with uncountable nouns. You have the quantifiers over here, a lot, a few, uh, many, any, none a lot, a little, much, any, and none. Okay, you can use those uh, to start working on uh, creating some sentences, okay? How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. How much crime is there? There is a lot of street crime. Okay, something else that you need to keep in mind is that we have there are and there is. There are is used for, um, to talk about plural noun, 10 or 12, plural, you know. And there is, is to talk about uncountable noun or uh, singular nouns, okay? That's it, no more than that, okay? Yesterday we saw this video, okay? This is only, uh, I mean, this is just a review about the topic and we need to move on, okay? Now, I will switch into Spanish and I will let you know about what's the purpose for me tonight. Me voy a cambiar un ratito al español, okay, solo para aclararle algunas cosas de las que vamos a, a estar hablando ahora en la noche. A recordarles que ya tienen eh, su midterm, pa, lo pueden trabajar a partir de mañana. Les sugiero que, que se concentren mucho, que hagan lo mejor que puedan 
que obtengan como mínimo un 80% de la actividad y que pues que todo les salga bien en, en, en la misma. Por otra parte, quiero este, también decirles que es sumamente importante para mí. Voy a dejar de compartir ahorita. Es sumamente importante para mí que ustedes empiecen a crear algo en inglés. Cuando ustedes empiecen a crear algo y empiecen a palpar sus éxitos en inglés, se van a motivar, se van a motivar aún más. ¿Ok? Porque van a empezar a ver que ustedes pueden crear algo en inglés, que pueden um, contarnos una historia, que pueden crear una conversación, um, que pueden crear una situación, etc. Um, y, y, que lo pueden, y que lo pueden hacer de manera muy, muy eficiente y muy bien pronunciada. Okay, entonces, más adelante les voy a decir cuál es la actividad que les voy a dejar para que puedan este, practicarlo en la clase. Okay. Resulta que si yo eh, hablo todas las horas en todas las semanas, pues el único que está practicando soy yo. Entonces vamos a crear actividades en donde ustedes puedan practicar. Ok, todos vamos, todos vamos a, a ver el trabajo eh, que se hace y todos vamos a estar apoyando y vamos a estar dando algunas observaciones. Ok, yo voy a estar dando algunas observaciones respecto a, a, lo, que, a lo que ustedes hagan en la clase. All right, so that's why I'm asking you to pay special attention, ok, to the, to the following part. You know, uh, it says that we're going to continue talking about a quantifier. You're going to be, uh, I mean, this is the knowledge check, right? We saw the video, okay, about how many, how much, about quantifiers, a lot, a few, many, any, or none, a lot, little, a little, much, any, or none. All right, now we're going to practice. And we're going to see what's going on with the activity. It says, instructions. On the spaces provided for each sentence, write a proper quantifier. Pay attention if it is a count now or a non-count now. Now, hey, pay attention. I will ask two people. Uh, let me see. You are going to help me tonight. Okay, let me see. Hey, Christian, Christian, is Christian here? Hello, Christian. Christian, hello? Well, Christian is not here. I don't see Christian. I don't listen to Christian. David, no, let me see. David Roberto, hello, David. David, hello, David. Hello, no. Let's see. Esmeralda? Well, listen, who wants to help me to, to get the information about what is a count now? ¿Quién me ayuda a buscar qué es un, un, now, un count now en la web? ¿Quién me lo define? Ok. A count now. Es algo que se puede contabilizar, ¿cierto? All right. That's right, Sonia. But how do you define it in English, Sonia? Sustentive countables. Ah, okay. So we have two categories, right? We have countable and uncountable nouns, right? Or non-countable. Okay. And can you mention some uh, example for countable nouns? Countable nouns? Tomatoes, teacher? Tomatoes. All right. Hey, how many tomatoes do you have in the fridge? Do you remember? How many? No, you don't remember, Nelson. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, do, do you remember ab about how many tomatoes do you have in the fridge, in the refrigerator? Uh, Twelve tomatoes. <laughs> how many? Twelve tomatoes. There Three. are 
there are no there are 12 tomatoes ah 12 tomatoes wow you have a good memory nelson yeah uh, approximately <laughs> approximately all right very good can somebody give me another example Another example for countable nouns. Oscar, Antonio? Carrot. Carrot. Yeah. Uh, okay. How many carrots do you have in the fridge? Uh, How many ca carrots are there in the fridge? Um, one. Only one. One, yeah. I, I you don't have any. Okay. Then you say I, I don't have any. La mitad is middle. The half of it. The, the half, half of the, the half. carrot. The okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic. Now, so and we have also non-countable nouns or uncountable nouns. Can you mention some examples for non-countable? Non-countable nouns, examples. Sugar, water. Uh, sugar, sugar, sugar. Uh, uh -huh. Hey, what is the question for sugar? If Rice. you want to ask, um, si le quieren preguntar a alguien cuánta azúcar tienes, eh, por ejemplo, en casa, ¿cómo lo dirían en inglés? How much sugar did you have? Oh, fantastic. How that was fantastic. How much, right? Because much? that's uncountable, right? What? Tell me another example besides. Sugar. Water. Water. Okay, Juan Antonio. Water. That's right. Hey, but what about if I say is the is if I say how many bottles of water do you drink daily? Is that correct? The question: How many bottles of water do you drink daily? How many or how much? How many? How many, How right? Much? Because uh, we are counting the bottles. Estamos contando las botellas. Las botellas con agua, ¿ok? Pero el agua por sí misma, no. No podemos decir un agua, dos aguas. No, es imposible. ¿Ok? We have water, we have air, we have sand, we have salt. Tell me something else. That's uncountable. The smoke. Love, Hi. hatred, rice. Vaya, eh, pero este, eh, son los mismos que yo le enseño, ¿ah? ¿eh? Okay. Ah, vaya, y entonces esa, la XL me la está dando lo que es a 350. Uh, okay, guys, do me the favor to uh, turn off your microphone if you're not participating. Okay, now let's go over the activity itself. Okay, yesterday we started with this. We're gonna go over it. The second part, I mean, this is the first part, right? For the first section or first exercises, choose between much or many. Quite simple, right? Much or many, much or many. And we have, there is much or many noise. Much. Noise. Much, much, much noise. Let me see. Much. I think it needs to be lowercase. Much noise. In the second one, we have there are restaurants. Many, 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 many restaurants. In the third one, many. who wants to help me, please? Much crime. Much. Much. There is much. There is much crime. There is much, much. All right. Much. There is much crime. All right, there's much crime. Number four. There is much, much, much traffic. Much traffic. Much. Much. Yeah, much traffic. Much. And the number five. There are many. Many. Many, many apartments. There are many apartment buildings. All right. Second part. Over here, you're going to. Uh, solve the exercises by choosing between a few and a little. All right, so I, I hope that you remember about the difference, right? When do we use a few people? A few, a few with, that's uncountable or countable? 
countable. 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 All right. We, we use it with countable nouns. In a little? No countable. With no non countable. Yeah. Okay. So then you are going to tell me what's going on with it. Okay. I will ask some, some, some of you, people who haven't participated. Let me see. Uh, Moises Antonio, number one. A little. No, but tell me the whole sentence, please. Mm, there is a little pollution. There's a little pollution. All right. Now, number two. I have uh, Maria Elena, please. There are, there are little shopping center. There are a little. There are a little. Is shopping that correct? Center. Is that correct? Now, I mean, you say there are a little shopping centers. Now, question, shopping centers. Are, uh, no, question, Sh are shopping centers countable or non-countable? Countable. So if it is countable, countable what, what is the answer? There are a few shopping a centers. Few. A few. Mm. Okay, let's yeah. see if it is a few. A few shopping centers. Very good. Thank you. Now I will ask uh, Ricardo. Hello, Ricardo, with the, with the number three. There are a few schools in this neighborhood. There are a few. So we have a few. A few schools in this neighborhood. Number four, I have Victor. Hello, Victor, help me with number four, please. Victor is not over here. Xiomara, can you please continue? Mm, there is a little traffic. There is a little traffic. Number five, I think this is the last. Uh, let, no, we have the third part, right? So let me see, Jocelyn. Could you please help me with number five? Okay, Jocelyn, let me see. Stephanie Michel. Nelson? There are a little traffic light in the city. A little? Are you Tra sure a little or a few? Mm -hmm. uh, a little. A little, okay. So if you say a little, we are going to discover if it is correct or incorrect. Okay, let's move on to the third part. You're gonna continue, you are going to complete this part by using ah, uh, you see, isn't any or aren't any. I hope you remember about the difference, right? We saw the information in the video and we discussed it uh, yesterday, right? Keep in mind countable nouns and non-countable nouns. Um and it says, for example, there we have we have taxis in, in this part of town. Now, volunteers, please. There are there aren't any taxis in the part of town. There aren't there aren't any. There aren't any taxis in this part of town. Okay, number two, volunteer. There, there, isn't, any there isn't any traffic. There isn't any traffic. Good. Number three, public transportation. There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. There isn't any. Okay, number four, parking spaces. 
There aren't, there aren't any, any parking, parking spaces. Space. There aren't any parking spaces. And the last one, crime. There isn't any crime? There isn't any crime. There isn't any crime. I will check it, okay. Let's check it, okay, from the very beginning. En el último faltó el N. Oh, really? Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. That was my fault, people. Don't worry. All right. In the first one, now there is much noise. Very good. Not countable. Number two, many fantastic. There are many restaurants. Number three, there is much crime. Very good. Number four, there is much traffic. Fantastic. Number five, there are many apartment buildings. Very good. Second part, there is a little pollution. Pretty good. Number two, there are a few shopping centers. Great. Number three, there are a few uh, schools. Number four, there is a little traffic. Number five, there are, there, uh, what about this one? Is, is, is there any problem here? You know traffic lights, right? Question, Tra traffic lights, countable or non-countable? Countable. We can countable. count them, right? That's why we are going to include a few. Well, but don't worry, it's only a mistake. A few, we correct it and there's no any problem. Uh, in the third part we have, there aren't any taxis, very good. Number two, there isn't any traffic. Number three, there isn't any public transportation. Good. Number four, there aren't any parking spaces. Good. Number five, there isn't any crime. Well, actually you did a great job. What can I say about it? Okay, now let me see. This is the th 3.9. And we're gonna work a little about uh, the activity that we have that I have prepared for you tonight, okay? Vamos a empezar a trabajar en crear algo en inglés. ¿Les parece? Ah, very good. Thank you, Christian. Thank you, Christian. Very good. Hey, excelente. El que, el que puede apoyar en la clase a través del chat está perfecto. Hey, listen carefully. Well, we're going to start working. I will stop sharing this part, okay? Because I want you to start working on your own uh, activity. Um, les comentaba que me interesa mucho que ustedes empiecen a preparar eh, algo en inglés, a crear algo en inglés y hacer lo propio, ¿verdad? Eh, quiero que uh, trabajen en la descripción de su neighborhood, de su vecindario, ¿ok? Eh, por acá hay un ejemplo, más adelante vamos a ver una, una lectura que ustedes la pueden tomar como referencia. Let me see. I saw it over here. I think over here. Ok. Acá hay una lectura de alguien que está escribiendo un, un vecindario. Pero ustedes me van a describir, me van a describir el de ustedes, eh, su vecindario. Ok. Pueden, pueden incluir cuánta información um, consideren necesaria. Ok. Y pues que nos cuenten qué hay de interesante allí donde ustedes, donde ustedes viven. Pueden hablar de la ciudad, pueden hablar del vecindario en sí. Ok, me interesa mucho que ocupemos eh, there is, there are, there isn't uh, any, there aren't any, y lo que hemos estado ocupando recientemente. Entonces, para esto vamos a empezar a trabajar desde, desde ahora. Ok. Eh, pueden buscar en, en, en internet vocabulario, um, oraciones, a todo lo que necesiten. Pues ustedes saben que hoy con la tecnología pues están a un clic de encontrar vocabulario, pronunciación, frases y lo que necesitan para crear su propia descripción de su, de su vecindario. 
Entonces les voy a dar que vamos a trabajar 5, 10, 15 minutos en eso. Quiero que por favor presten atención en la pronunciación de las palabras, en cómo nos lo van a presentar. Pueden hacer quizás este una, una pequeña PowerPoint, ¿ok? O si les parece trabajarlo en Word pues lo pueden hacer también, incluir un par de, de imágenes o, o algo creativo, ¿ok? Y van a tener su espacio, pueden hablar dos minutos referente a eso, pero tiene que ser full English, ¿ok? Full English, bien pronunciado y con el vocabulario que han adquirido. Ok, vamos a empezar desde ahorita mientras yo paso el listado. Termino de pasar el listado. Ustedes se quedan trabajando en eso y cuando yo termine de chequear acá mi listadito, pues entonces voy a empezar a preguntar a algunos de ustedes, ¿ok? Uh, let me see. Uh, Juan, what are we going to do? Juan, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer, Juan? Vamos a ver Okay, simple like that, right? We're going to describe our neighborhood. Simple like that. How, how much time are you going to participate in the activity, Juan? One minute, two minutes. Maybe one minute, one minute and a half. It may be one minute, it may be one minute and a half, and it can be also two minutes, okay? Puede ser un minuto, un minuto y medio o dos minutos. Ahí lo que ustedes consideren. Pero esos dos minutos deben de ser de calidad. ¿Ok? All right. So, two minutes. Get ready with two minutes. Tienen que 14 minutos para preparar dos minutos. ¿Ok? Okay. Exactly. I mean... Van a ocupar there is, there are, there isn't, uh, there isn't any, there are any, y lo que estuvimos practicando eh, hoy de último. Eh, plus the vocabulary you get, right? There is a hospital, there is a pharmacy, there is a restaurant, there are, well, if you have, if, if, uh, if there are like 12 restaurants in your neighborhood, okay, so let us know about them, okay? If you want to speak about what's your favorite dish in that restaurant, it, it may be meaningful also. No necesariamente van a gastar esos dos minutos diciendo hay 12 restaurantes, hay dos farmacias, hay una iglesia. No, no, no. También pueden incluir, por ejemplo, si dicen hay 12 restaurantes y de esos 12 el, el, mi preferido es tal. Mi platillo favorito es tal. Y ahí ustedes tienen la libertad de incluir la información que deseen, ¿ok?
10 minutes more, tiene 10 minutos más. Try to make sure you are pronouncing the words uh, correctly, okay? You can use Google Translator, or if you have an application about pronunciation, that would be fantastic also. You can include as much information as you wish. If you want to tell us about how interesting your neighborhood is, it's all right, it's up to you. Also, if you wanna tell us uh, uh, information about your neighbors, that would be all right. Si quieren decirnos algo acerca de sus vecinos, pues también si son amigables, si son, si no son muy amigables, si son, um, si les gusta platicar o no, pues ahí lo pueden mencionar. Okay, five minutes.
Okay, three minutes and we start. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello uh, Janelle. How? Okay, uh, my Your meeting um, is over, right? My work meeting. Uh, so, uh, uh, Janelle, uh, right now we are working in a description of our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you have to prepare um, a mini presentation about your neighborhood. Okay. But you see, there is, there are, there isn't any, there aren't any. And um, I mean, the, the, the information that we have studied, that we have studied lately about quantifiers okay. also. Okay. All right. Okay, in this in this activity, everybody is going to participate. Okay, everybody will speak. Hey, teacher. Are you ready? My neighbor, there are a lot of grocery store. There is not restaurant. There is a bar next to my house. There are few, few library. There is public transport, a bus. Uh, my neighbor across from is very friendly. My brother, my brothers living near the my house. Your brothers live nearby your house. All right, very good, Mary. Very good, Mary. That's fantastic. That was great. Okay, uh, I don't know how how did you do the activity, uh, Mary? How did you do the activity? How did you create that info? I mean, how did you get that information? ¿Qué recursos utilizó para crear esa o para para obtener esa información en inglés, Mary? Para obtenerla. Um, lo que yo hago normalmente, Ticho, se lo voy a decir en español. <ríe> lo que yo hago normalmente, eh, escribo lo que creo que tiene que ser, eh, lo escribo primero y luego a veces, como si tengo dudas, Eh, lo corrijo en el traductor para ver si está bien, no está bien. Ok, very good. Ajá, eso, y palabras que sí, no sé completamente qué, cómo las escribo, si las busco directamente. Ok, that's very good. Uh, you know, Google Translator is a good, a good uh, tool. It, it, it can be very useful. Google Translator puede ser muy útil. Ok, pueden usarlo. Ok, um, cuando tengan dudas, pueden buscar una palabra o alguna frase, ahí le, ahí le va este, a, a ayudar. Ok, so I, I wonder if there is another person who wants to participate. Another volunteer? Another volunteer? Ok, I will check, then one by one, it will be one by one. Let me see. Um, Ada? Ada told me that she she has problem, right? Christian, Christian? I'm not ready yet. Uh, not ready yet, okay. Now, that's, that's why I'm asking for volunteers. I wonder if there are some volunteers. Who, who finished already? I finished. Uh, okay, Dennis, Dennis, go ahead, please. Me? Please. Okay. I live right at the border 
when I say the word, everyone has a lot of ideas. But the truth is that it's a salad from all over the country. In a one place, we have uh, all the meals and we have the advantage of also having the food from the neighbor country, neighbor, neighboring country. My only disadvantage is the university because of the distance, but I love my people. And there is a lot of work, culture, and above all many shops. The incredible things here is how many shop is how how close I have everything else. A few books away, but I prefer to use the errands up because of the heat air. How do you say calor? Because of the of the hot weather? Hot here. Or yes. you can say because of the heat, right? Yeah. Hey, Dennis, great information. Thank great, you. Great information. That's what I, I, I. That's what I was asking you to do, right? To get as much information and to provide, to provide as much information as possible. Pretty good. Thank you. Uh, okay. Same for for Maria, right? Maria did a great job. And now, is there any other person who wants to participate? I mean, everybody will participate. The only thing you have to do is to describe your neighborhood. Who finished already? Marco, I wonder if you already finished. Yes, teacher. <laughs> do you want to share the info? Yes. yes. All right. So, Marco, go ahead. Okay, my neighborhood. In my neighborhood, in my neighborhood there are many tree, trees. trees. In nature in general. In the park of my neighborhood, there is a guava tree and a pacaya tree as well. There are some swings in the park, and in the afternoon, there are always children play. There aren't convenience store, stores, but some time ago, there were some convenience stores, but they are currently closed. And sometimes there are some neighbors who sell food like chocolate bananas or pupusas. Outside of my neighborhood, there are a few informal business like rose meat, Mexican foods, hamburgers, and pupusas. That was it? Yes. Wow. That was awesome, right? You, you also included uh, pupusas yes. <laughs> in, in, in your, in, I mean, in, in the description. And that is fantastic. So you see how wonderful English can become? A lot of ideas, right? A lot of ideas, a lot of vocabulary, a lot of uh, uh, pronunciation. We have a lot of work to do in English, okay? Pretty good, congrats. Is Thanks. there any other person who wants to, pro to, to share the information? I wonder if Claudia, Claudia already finished. Do you finish, Claudia? Yes, teacher. Okay, do you want to share the information? Okay. Okay. Uh, it's general. All right. Uh, so yeah, my neighbor has many fast friends. Uh, many bacon is the he, he is 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 s s s in it. Quiero decir seguro social, All right. In June, and he has a lot of commercial shopping centers and his games. I class I I class to uh in way in about. Five education center in the network. I have friendly neighbors and feel free. Okay. Finish. Okay, Claudia. Thanks for doing your best effort. Thanks okay. for doing your best effort. Thank you very much. I I All appreciate right. it. I really appreciate it. Gisela, I wonder if you already finished. Uh, my neighborhood is safe, but very nice since many cars pass. Eso lo busqué en Google porque no sabía cómo decía pasan muchos carros. Okay. And there, there are many restaurants. Are uh, no one of those is my mom's. My neighbors are so friendly. There is a short. 
and two grocery stores and green area. In green areas. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for doing your best. I have two volunteers more. I have Oscar and I also have Sonia, right? Okay, Oscar, go ahead. And also Moses. Moses is ready now. Okay, let us start with Oscar. Oscar, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Okay. The island of okay. Kingston. Okay. Um, Kingston on the island of Kingston, there are many people. The most is one white, right? Thing. It has many cabanas and three large, large pools and the service some exotic drinks. Okay. okay, thank you, Oscar. Thank you very much, okay? Thanks for doing, doing your best effort. At the end, I will provide some observations. Okay, general, general um, but um, meaningful. Okay, is there any other person? Thanks for sharing the image, uh, Oscar. Gracias por haber compartido la imagen, Oscar. Okay, and let me see. Uh, I have Sonia. Sonia, are you ready, okay. Sonia? Yes. Okay, I live in a great neighborhood. I have a basketball court near my house, and I also have a park near to my house which makes the area much more beautiful. My neighborhood also has a lot of grocery stores. The most important is next to the park make, uh, that makes sure people get all their needs um, without having to go far. Uh, I also have a typical homemade food restaurant and the owner also lives in the same area, so he's very kindly with everyone. We also have amazing neighborhood neighbors who make um, or lives better. I got lucky in the in this case because my my neighbors are very sweet. They help in maintaining the 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 peace of the area so everyone lives in harmony. I have seen very often that if there is an emergency at anyone's places, everyone rushes to help. I uh, Like today, I have a neighbor, she's blind and she has a dog. She has a dog and now the dog gave birth to 10 puppies. I help with her, um, get them out to clean the house because she couldn't do it. And that's what I love of my neighborhood because I have a lot of sweet elderly friends who tell me many stories and share their wisdoms with me. Wow, awesome, mm -hmm. awesome information. <laughs> now it seems as if you live in, in the paradise. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow, well, you know, you are very lucky. You you live in a really nice neighborhood. And, yes. and I, I I believe you you have great neighbors there. Excellent yes. info. <laughs> Very good. Okay, we have Moses, we have Janelle, and also we have Xiomara, right? So who wants to start? Janelle, go ahead. Uh, who, who? Moses, do you want? Uh, sí, pero si quiere pase Janelle primero. Uh, okay, Janelle. Janelle, it's all right. Janelle, go ahead. Okay, sister. In my neighborhood, there are not many things because I live in a canton, como se dice? So that would be like, like, like your neighborhood, right? Uh, yo vivo en canton, pero por eso no sé cómo se dice canton en inglés. So, say uh, like... In like... 
Say mm -hmm. like neighborhood. That's your neighborhood. In my neighborhood, there are not many things because I don't know my canton, but in the neighbor town, uh, there's a central park. In, in front of the central park is a church and the town hall. And there are several places to live. There is a, in a nice cream parlor and craft shop. It's a town quiet and most places close very early. And I don't know many people because I moved recently. Wow. Awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, you know, we are almost finishing the, with the class, okay? And I, I need to check the list of things, but we are going to give the opportunity to Moses or uh, well, let's see. Let me see. Um, let's do something. Vamos a hacer algo porque ya el tiempo prácticamente se nos está terminando. Va mañana vamos a seguir con la actividad y vamos a darle el espacio a aquellos que no lograron eh, Des, des, de dar su información en esta clase. ¿Les parece, Moses, en Xiomara? ¿Listos para mañana? Y los, yes. los, los que todavía hacen falta para que todos puedan participar, ¿ok? Este, y lo otro, quiero que revisen eh, la información que, que nos dieron ahora y que vean si efectivamente usaron las estructuras que hemos estado viendo, que son las los quantifiers, there is y there are. Ok, si, si eso está ahí, entonces está bien su trabajo. Y este, pero si eso no está, está ahí, si no está, entonces hay que modificarlo. Y hay que volver a pedir, a, a, a pedir el espacio para, de, para, para volverlo a decir. Ok. Revísenlo, por favor. Eso es para el día de mañana. Eso lo voy a pasar listado por acá. Eh, no escuché, por ejemplo, a David Roberto. No sé si me equivoqué. No lo veo en la lista tampoco. Eh, ¿Qué me dicen de Esmeralda? Tampoco la escuché por acá. Stephanie Michel. Víctor Alfredo. Y Jocelyn Elizabeth. Ya los demás, pues, ya constaté que están por acá, que han estado participando. La verdad que los felicito porque este, siempre están acá con, con ánimos. Algunos entran con un poquito de sueño, ya los noté algunos que entran a la clase con un poquito de sueño. Y, pero ya les dije yo cuál es la solución. Tómense una tacita de café. Y pues van a entrar con mucha energía a la clase, se los se lo recomiendo. Ok, lo otro es este, que por ahí ya tienen su midterm preparado, ya ustedes saben que tienen que hacer esa actividad, traten de obtener un score alto, porque se lo merecen, están haciendo un excelente trabajo. Este, recomendarles siempre, practiquen inglés, si ustedes se fijan, hay algunos que ya como que, como que tienen como más habilidad, ¿verdad? Como que han estado practicando más. Entonces, todos podemos lograr el nivel de inglés que deseamos, todos. Lo único que necesitamos es practicar, 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 aprender nuevas frases, nuevo vocabulario. Yo me recuerdo, no sé si fue en este grupo que se compartieron el listado de verbos, de los 100 verbos, 100 verbos regulares, 100 verbos irregulares. Sí, este grupo fue. Entonces, yo creería que ese, esos recursos que se están compartiendo en WhatsApp no queden en el olvido, ¿ok? Porque no es esa la intención, sino que cada, cada recurso que nosotros coloquemos ahí, ya sean ustedes o sea mi persona, que lo comparta, que, que lo absorbamos, que, lo, que, 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 que sea como un tesoro que nos están poniendo ahí en, en el WhatsApp. Ok, de esa manera vamos a ir mejorando. ¿Les parece? Sí. Ok, let's yes. say goodbye yes. and let us see tomorrow, people. God bless you. Okay, teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you. See, see you tomorrow. See you. Hey, see you, Oscar. Great job. See you, Janelle. See you tomorrow. Una, una pregunta. Tell me. Eh, hay una 
en, el, en la plataforma hay un, un material que se puede imprimir, eso hay que entregarlo. No, fíjese que los avances solo son en la plataforma, en la, en la plataforma queda registrado su trabajo. Ah, no, es porque había un material como un tipo de libro. Sí, sí, imprimir. no. Si usted desea no, imprimirlo, pues no hay ningún problema, no. pero este, no, no hay que enviarlo, ¿verdad? No. Sino que sus avances son los que quedan registrados en la plataforma. De acuerdo, Jonel. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.